there. So I am doing my first request from the video that I posted last and that is the Rock and Rollers tutorial. A lot of you have asked how to use these. You've seen my pictures on Instagram. Um, I'm really loving these things lately. So this is them and you may recognize them. I believe that they are marketed in drugstore. Um, I, I don't know for sure if they are exactly the same product as what Lauren supplies but I do know that they look very similar to this and they're called wrap snap and go I believe is the name of these rollers I would never have given them the time of day but um, they have kind of the same principle behind them as hot sticks which is just basically one long cylindrical item that you wrap your hair around and then you twist it together or lock it together at the end and so I decided to give these a try and I am in love with them right now I'm using them constantly and I think basically for me what they work best for is they work best for second day hair now this set was done on first day dry, uh, right out of the shower hair, so it won't have quite the same effect, I don't feel, as it does the second day. The second day it seems to really, really respond well to this type of setting. Um, but I thought it would be only fair to show you how it looks, you know, straight off, clean, clean hair. Um, so this is the... Um, this is the way the set looks once it's up. Now what I typically do is at night I will... Um, at night I will set my hair in these and then I will put a hairnet around them and this just kind of keeps them in place you also can link them through each other <clears throat> as I've done here you see how this one is here and this one is linked through it you can also link them through each other so that they have a little more security the problem I have found with that is that each progressive link is a little bit tighter to the head and a little bit harder to link to the one below it so I typically will link these three together and then in the back I'll link some together but I've also found that using bobby pins to stabilize them works just as well because these nice flat ends just work really well with a bobby pin so this is what they look like set I'm going to show you exactly how I roll them I'll just unroll one and then roll it back up so you can see how I roll them um, but this is what they come in. It comes in this little black, this little plastic bag. And of course, Lauren, as you know, is the one who wrote the book Vintage Hairstyling. And so she's actually remarketed this product or something very similar to what you've seen in the drugstore. But she has found all kinds of new innovative uses for these rollers. So her, pa her packaging and her little book that comes with it, to me, makes it worthwhile, even if it costs a little more than what you see this similar product cost in the drugstore. Um, this is the book. And the book goes through, you know, basics about things you need to know about wet setting your hair. It talks about, you know, using how to use the rollers and wrap the curl. Um, it tells you how to link the rollers to each other so it can have some added stability. And then it goes through and t shows you specific styles that you can do um, that have a vintage look about them. That one on the front is absolutely beautiful. But in addition to that, she uses this product as a filler. She uses it to wrap up faux bangs. She uses it to wrap up a faux bob. And so there's a lot of really great uses for it. I personally have not used it as a filler yet. Um, I prefer to use something, because my hair is so fine, I find that if I use anything that doesn't have some mesh to it so that I can stick bobby pins directly into it as a filler, then I don't really get very good results. But I can see how if you have really thick hair, it would be a great option for you because you'd have plenty to hold that in place. So these can be used as a filler, and she explains how to use that. And that's why I think purchasing this particular set is a really good investment because you don't have to worry as much about um, how exactly do I go about using this. She leaves it nothing to the imagination at all. You actually learn every single step. So this is what I have, you know, this is a set after I've slept on it, and it doesn't move. It's so comfortable. It doesn't move. They're just little pillows. So it's just a really comfortable sleeping set and it's one that I prefer to any other roller set. Um, pin curls typically are a little easier for me to sleep in than, um, than rollers in general. But as far as rollers go, I'd rather sleep in these than pillow rollers or um, um, foam rollers or anything. They just are really super comfortable. Okay, so this is basically how you use them. I have this one. Now, these top ones will fly kind of outward if I don't bobby pin them. So I typically just bobby pin them to my hair at the top. You see how I've bobby pinned them? Because otherwise, they'll kind of flop out like that. So that kind of keeps them nice and stable. 
And if you've got them linked to one below them, I think it works best just to unsnap the one that you have linked below. So you can see how well this curl took. So the way that you would go about doing it is I typically, if I'm, if I'm doing this on dry, clean hair, what I would typically do is, is use some type of mousse. Even if my hair is dried, I'll use some type of mousse or setting lotion to give my hair a little bit of, um, a little bit of texture because I think it grabs the roller a little better. Um, but what I typically do is I will just pull the strand out and wrap it around the roller like this. And then I'll just wrap, roll the roller up like this and then pull it in an upward motion. Now you can go downward if you want to, but I don't think they are as secure. So go up and then you just find the snap and snap in place. And you can see it'll kind of hang there a little bit loose and that's why it's always really nifty to be able to link them together. If you link them together, this one looks messy because I didn't really focus, but if you link them together, you can see it's a lot more stable, so it stays put. And then of course this is what it kind of looks like. It's not a big deal when you leave it like that, but I'll just take a bobby pin and pin it to the top of my head so that it's nice and compact and everything's easy to just wrap a net around and go to sleep. And you can tie a scarf around it or whatever you want to do. So that's how you use the rollers. And now you can see what the result of the set is. I'm going to go ahead and undo all of these. And I also, because my bang area is kind of short, I use pin curls on those. And on second day here, these work so well in just maintaining a set. Like if you have a really good pin curl set that you want to preserve, you can just wrap up individual sections, big chunks. That's why even though there's only 12 of these, it's not that big a deal because you can wrap, typically wrap larger sections of hair. Now if you've got really thick hair, then of course you're going to need two sets. And then you can see how short and Shirley Temple it looks. Isn't that sad about Shirley Temple? And I center parted my hair for this style. I actually really, really love to center part my hair. And the way I rolled it is I just took kind of large chunks of hair all the way down to my ear on this side. So there were about three here. And then I just went around the back and just wrapped all of the, the hair in the back behind my ears on the rest of the rollers. So the flat, the crown area of my hair was completely flat. You know, when, when you take these out, they don't pull like some rollers do. I know foam rollers tend to, the little clip at the end, tend to get stuck in my hair. And pillow rollers, for some reason, um, they're so dense. They take forever to dry. And even though I didn't really use much water with this set, um, using any water at all with a pillow roller, it just seems like they're, for some reason, the casing is just doesn't breathe. So anyway, that's my feelings on that. So I'm using my paddle brush and I'm just gonna start brushing. And of course you'll get that signature fluffy frizz initially. Then I'll take my Denman styling brush, um, my just my standard Denman styling brush, and I'll start to kind of pull some waves in. So that's it. This is just a simple center parted hairstyle with a little bit of extra wave at the top. And of course the back just looks really pretty and soft and, and simple. And you can add a flower, um, you can add a hair accessory, whatever you'd like. This is just going to be my daytime style today so I'm not going to bother adding anything. Um, but this is an example of how to use the rock and rollers for retro styles. Um, you can of course use them for modern styles as well, but it's just easier on your hair. It's gentle and I cannot say enough good things about these. I am really, really a big fan of the rock and rollers. Actually, I um, don't really use any other type of roller now and I hate that because I've got so many rollers sitting in my drawer, but I actually don't really use um, 
I don't really use the um, foam rollers or uh, my soft flexible rollers really anymore except unless I'm going for something specific like a specific style and my perm rods I'm really only using during the day um, for very specific like 1930s early 40s looks so it's just this is just for me for my everyday use this is what I've been using lately and I'm loving it so that's all about rock and rollers let me know if you have any questions and um, I'll supply a link below so that you can purchase these I do think that they are absolutely worth it um, if you have to order two sets, then there might be a little bit more of a concern when it comes to what's most economical. But I, you know, I think that when it comes to something like this, I haven't noticed them breaking down. Um, foam rollers tend to, the little snap part comes off, you have to go find it, search through drawers, unless you're buying a more expensive set. They just tend to fall apart really easily. These I haven't noticed. And pillow rollers, the little, the little wire that's on the inside pokes out through the casing and it is obnoxious. So it's kind of like just curling your hair with a pipe cleaner. This, I haven't really noticed it breaking down or giving me any trouble, and I've used it multiple, multiple, used them multiple, multiple times. So that is the way I feel about these. Let me know, like I said, if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.